one of the coolest uh, features of, of the bio testing is, is the electronic medical records. Uh, I know when I was, I don't go to the doctor uh, frequently. So I know my information's all over the place. And one doctor was talking to this doctor and his networks upon networks. Uh, so I guess you talk to me about, more about that. What does that look like to the end user uh, being able to access their electronic medical records? So here's the thing. Um, the the idea behind current electronic medical records, uh, and there's a controversy about this, is uh, there's a conflict of ownership rights between patients and physicians. Um, patients demand that they be given ownership of their medical records, while physicians actually claim that they're the rightful owners of the medical records because they see it as work result and it must may remain protected under intellectual property law. Um, and each country, this is actually different. But like in, in Indonesia, Actually, it's decided the ownership of medical records resides within the patients and uh, it's only put within the hospital servers for convenience. Okay, so um, so anyway, the the way we are actually doing electronic medical records is sort of different from like the other uh, blockchain solutions that are, that are doing that in that we are doing it in a user first perspective. So if you already have like um, your own medical records that you want to upload into the blockchain, you put it in the blockchain and you secure it that way and you ensure that oh, this is what I got, this is what I received. And uh, you can anonymize it yourself. Like you you basically edit it, edit out your name, et cetera, and make sure that uh, like um, it's still connected to you as your set of data. And, and uh, you basically can, can send over to like, you can prove that, oh, this is this is my set of data. I own it. I have to Asks for um, a second opinion uh, mm -hmm. uh, to a doctor, to a doctor that is also certified on like the bio, uh, um, the same kill token created the tester, the KYC thing. So uh, yeah. imagine, well, what was it, WebMD? What's the website? Yeah. Web Web you question. look up all your symptoms and they tell you you're going right. to die. When your symptoms, you give like, you, you can, so imagine that, but like it's blockchain. So basically, you can give your symptoms, you can give your entire EMR. You edit out your own name, make sure it's anonymous, make sure it cannot be traced back to you. It's uploaded there, and then you give a bounty. Like, uh, I'm gonna give you like uh, 500 bucks if you can tell me tell me what's wrong with me. And uh, yeah. that that yeah. is that can be an escrow, a smart contract. A real doctor, uh, as in someone who is actually certified by Kilt to be in that specialty, can give his or her opinion and claim the bounty. So uh, that's sort of a very different way of doing electronic medical records. Of course, the hospital is are still keeping the records. So it's, still, it's still on their end. But at least since the patients have a copy, the aggregation of the data is done with this system. Because like you, you probably have like not just one, but like, you have multiple medical records that are spread throughout multiple hospitals, right? Except right. if you live in Singapore. Because Singapore actually aggregates their data themselves, which causes problems. That that data was hacked in 2018. Singapore oh, was wow. hacked because wow. it's a centralized system, right? Again, the centralization problem of, of, of these medical records is that it's precious, it's, it's also very valuable. Hackers hack it. Happened in 2018, very Googleable, you guys can search it, very public. The prime minister's data even got hacked because the prime minister was part of that electronic medical records thing as well. So anyway, wow. so, uh, so right now your medical data is probably unaggregated it's not aggregated so uh you were born in a different hospital you move cities flobo i know mm -hmm. so you have like several hospitals that are like you you know i i don't I, i'm not saying you get sick much but for medical right. checkup right right um now uh imagine <laughs> our solution first as sort of a personal medical journal where you uh where you uh, have your own health records but then afterwards you can utilize it to uh, request for a second opinion uh, from a physician that uh, can be from the other side of the world, but you know that they're a physician because you know it's already curated by Kill, and then you mm -hmm. can basically pay them through the system as well. So it's an entirely different system from like the rest of the bio that we've been talking about. Um, it's an exciting part of our solution as well, uh, and it uses the same infrastructure, uh, sort of, uh, and uh, maintains anonymity in the same way. 